Hey y'all, good morning. This is uh, Clay with Clay's Backyard Bees. It's uh, October 26th, Saturday. It's about 11.30 in the morning. Uh, pretty chilly last night. I think we were down around 50. May have been even like 48. Uh, we're up to about 55 right now. Uh, <laughs> I got my entrance reducers on both of them. And uh, I put them on a few days ago. Still got the uh, treatment going on, the uh, April var strips. So uh, this is day 14 of the treatment. It's a 45-day treatment. I've uh, I've been just leaving them alone, uh, letting them do what they you know need to do. Uh, this one here, I got. Uh, I'm feeding sugar water to this one because this this hive here is really light. I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, I got the uh, the Guardian beetle blocker thing on there. I won that at uh, my uh, bee associate last month, and so I put it on my interest reducer and put it. So uh, it seemed to be working pretty good. So they found how to go in and out of it, uh, get in and out of it. So we're gonna leave it on there and let them use that. Uh, not really going to be messing with bees today, but uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to to uh, use the wax that I've rendered down from uh, the hives, uh, the burr comb that I scraped off. I think y'all may have seen it. it's like a little half pound block of wax that I've got at, and uh, I'm going to make some lip balm. So uh, we'll move inside the kitchen, and uh, my wife's gracious enough to let me use her kitchen to do this. So I'm going to move inside, and uh, we'll do up some lip balm real quick. It may not be real quick, but we're going to do some lip balm anyway. All right, well, you can see there's barely little uh, activity. So, yeah, we're just going to leave them alone, let them do their thing. So we're going to go ahead and move inside. All right, this is Clay with Clay's Backyard Bees in the wife's kitchen. See that music? I'll make some uh, lip balm. I made some before. Didn't film it because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So I made some before. Going to make some more uh, peppermint. <coughs> and my wife wants uh, honey vanilla. So I think I'm going to do the honey vanilla first and do that. I got my double boiler going. Got the heat going on it. So we just got to get the ingredients, all the ingredients, <coughs> except for uh, my honey. But uh, well, I guess not all the ingredients. This is the uh, vanilla oil. This is vitamin E oil. These were purchased at uh, a local craft store here. The other ingredients, the coconut oil, the shea butter, <coughs> That's the peppermint oil using the, the next batch. But these two were purchased online through Amazon. This is the wax that I rendered from my bees. So they just have the uh, five, one, two, three, four, uh, six ingredients in hers, five in the other. So you have to uh, start out with a quarter cup of. Uh, the beeswax. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe just a little more. like that. Pick that up. Alright, we're going to put this in a double boiler. I can dump it out. 
All right, so it's a quarter cup of beeswax. No, it's all natural because it came from my bees, came out of my hives. Uh, a quarter cup of shea butter, which is uh, shea butter that I have. 100% organic, unrefined ivory shea butter. So it's a quarter cup of that. Cup of shea butter. You get it off the spoon. Say butter stick. One tablespoon of coconut oil. Which looks a little thick, but you know, like coconut oil. So it is a little thick. Too much. Okay, call that good. Put that in there. Okay, so we're doing the honey and vanilla. Peppermint says 40 drops of uh, peppermint, so you can flavor it with whatever you want. So we're going to do the vanilla and then we're going to put about a tablespoon of honey in it. Yeah. Get my spoon out of it. It's live, folks. One. Oh, come on now. What's going on with this? Let's do this. I got one drop in it. Just go ahead and get rid of the dropper. And let's just put a little bit in here. It says 40 drops is about a half a teaspoon for the... So we'll just put about a half a teaspoon of that in there. Some vanilla. Dropper thing go where it is. And this is Clay's Backyard Bees Raw Honey. This is what didn't get put in a normal bottle. It's like didn't have enough. So this is our little stock of honey that I want to open a jar for. And we're going to put, this going to be about a tablespoon of this in there. See how this comes out. It smells good. Turn my heat off because you can see it's already melted. Everything's already melted.
You see, you can flavor this stuff with whatever you want to. Uh, just the ingredients, just going to keep those ingredients the same proportions. And this will make about, uh, probably about 14 of these uh, little chapstick things. These are, uh, this is a little kit I got off of uh, Amazon for uh, making lip balm tubes. So, we'll, uh, that's what we're going to use. Smells vanilla. -y. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so have this little dipper thing. And we'll just suck some of this up in it. Let them cool. I got a little bit left here. I got some. Uh, I got some other little jar, small jars. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna just pour the rest of this in that. Be like little small jars of it. Uh, let me get those. I got 14, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen tubes, and I got maybe enough for maybe two small jars. So let me go grab those. All right. Uh oh. Mixture here is cooled off in my in my uh, little dropper. Guess that's not a good thing to do. Luckily, it was wasn't set up too much where couldn't get some heat. So you can see with just a little bit of resources can make quite a bit of lip balm.
You can see these are already starting to cool over here. I don't know if I can dab this where it's settling down because it'll settle down and create air pockets around the little spinner thing at the top. That's it. Let that set up. I'll clean this up and do the uh, peppermint. All right. So now that I'm getting set up for the uh, peppermint, so here's my quarter cup shea butter going in the pan. but really creamy. I went and shredded up some uh, beeswax. I don't know if I got a quarter cup. We'll see. Looks like I did pretty good. Yeah, maybe. You look right at a quarter cup. It's good enough. Right? I think if it's got a little more beeswax, it may make it set up a little firmer. But that's not, I mean, I wouldn't call it a whole lot more beeswax than a quarter cup because there is some air pockets down in there. So, I'll put that in there. So we got that in. Let's turn our fire back on and get her melting. You can see our others are pretty much setting up there. Oh, get my coconut oil. Get my coconut oil in there. One tablespoon coconut oil. I realize I didn't drop any uh, the vitamin E in there in the other one. So it's still sitting right here. There we go. And about four drops. This stuff's thick. So get this almost dissolved.
good. drops is a half a teaspoon call it half a teaspoon drop that in there turn the fire off stir it up real good this little tray kit came with uh, 50 tubes um, did not come with labels I had to order the labels or order the label get the la get the label template to make my labels for them But uh, it also comes with a little spatula. It comes with a little spatula, and it's, if you do a big enough batch to fill 50 of these, it looks like it'd be like three times the amount of what I'm doing here because I'm getting 14, uh, 14 out of this. Well, I'm getting probably more than that because I put some in there. Probably getting 15 to uh, 16 tubes per batch. So you could probably say do up a three quarters or three times the amount of this one. Do that up at one time. Put all the tubes in there and then just pour it. Uh, pour it in. I need. Uh, a little over the top then you just take the little spatula and scrape off the top things see these are already starting to set up so that's it just uh one oh, money it Two, three, four, five ingredients. Six in the other one because the other one is uh, vanilla and uh, vanilla and honey flavor. So that's what these are. These are those. So I'll make up some more labels for them. This label here has got the little perforated thing to where it sticks to the lid so you know that the lid has been taken off then it's not attached which is really cool but yeah you can't get much more uh, natural homemade lip balm than that all right well I'm gonna get this cleaned up I'm gonna let these set up more you can see these are already setting up uh, this is already starting to cool and set up too. Go ahead and let them set up and get hard and then we'll take them out of the little tray put the lids on and make some labels for them put them on. Uh, appreciate you watching the videos. I uh, hope you uh, learned a little bit. Uh, this is, like I said, this is just a simple little lip balm using, this is the beeswax that I got from my, my hives. So I know where the beeswax come from. I know that's all natural because I rendered it. Uh, and so, uh, is that that? And these ingredients came from, uh, these ingredients came from Amazon. This came from Amazon. Uh, I'll put some links in the description if you want to check it out. This is just uh, peppermint essential oil. This is uh, raw extra virgin coconut oil. 
and this is 100% uh, organic, unrefined ivory shea butter. And then uh, vitamin E and the uh, vanilla oil for the vanilla flavoring. But uh, that's all I got for you on this one. I'll be seeing you.